The other day, Stellar Info reached out to me to test their Stellar data recovery software for Windows. And it was a good coincidence because a week before that, I inadvertently deleted some files and folders from a BitLocker protected partition on my Windows 11 machine. And using the Stellar data recovery software for Windows, I could retrieve these files and folders. So in this video, I'm going to give you a review about this software and I'm going to walk you through some scenarios where you lost files and folders and how to recover them. But before starting and as a full disclaimer, let me tell you that this video is sponsored by Stellar Info, but Stellar Info didn't intervene in the making of this video or in the content of this video. So the review of the software will be completely honest and it is based on my experience with it. So let me start first by telling you what are the different versions of Stellar data recovery for Windows. And one of these versions is a free version. So to download the Stellar Info, whether it's free or a paid version, go to stellarinfo.com and then click on for individuals. And then under data recovery, you see here you have Windows data recovery. Let me show you the free version first. I'm going to click on free. And you see that with the free version, you can recover deleted files, even from formatted drives and corrupted drives. But it can recover only up to one gigabytes of data. Now for the paid versions, you have the standard professional and premium in this video i'm going to show you the standard version that is in my opinion more than enough for 99 percent of the use cases so let me show you now the first scenario and it is recovering files and folders from a windows partition that were permanently deleted without going to the recycle bin so here i have a folder that is on drive g and i installed stellar data recovery on drive c by the way, never install the software that you want to use to recover deleted data on the same drive where the data was deleted because this will hinder your chances in recovering the data. So here I have two folders, one folder that contains some documents. For instance, this is a QR code and also the other folder contains some photos and some videos. So I'm going to simulate, for instance, if we delete this photo from here. So I'm going to permanently delete it without going to the recycle bin. Later, I'm going to show you how to do this if you empty the recycle bin. So shift delete on your keyboard, it will delete it completely. So now there's no way to retrieve it unless you have a backup. But in my case, I don't have a backup. So we need to start Stellar Info. And this is Stellar Info here. I created a shortcut for it. And when it starts, because it runs under administration privileges, it will ask you this. Simply click on yes and give it a moment to start. And this is the home screen. So here it will ask you first to select what kind of data you want Stellar Info to search for. By default, everything is selected. I'm going to give you a tip. If you want to add something that you might not find here, you can click on add raw formats. And here you can add the type you want. So let me go back and then I'm going to click on next. The next step, it will ask you where you want Stellar Info to search. So here on the top, you have connected drives. These are the partitions that are created on the physical drives below. So here we know that it was on drive G. So I'm going to go and select the drive G here. Notice here that you have something called deep scan. In this case that I showed you, we don't need deep scan. Deep scan, it will take lots of time and it will go search the drive sector by sector. So you can use it in case you cannot retrieve your files using the quick scan. So let me click on scan here and see how fast it was. So let's click on OK. And here you have classic list, file list and deleted list. If you click on deleted list, you're going to see only the data that was deleted. And remember, it was under my data and it was under photos and videos. And this is the file that was deleted. So here you can even get a preview of it before recovering it. So if I double click on it, I have the preview of it here. I'm going to deselect everything and only select the file that I want to retrieve, which is this one and click on recover. So it will ask you where you want to recover the file. And this is the second advice from me, never recover files to the same partition from where they were deleted. As a matter of fact, Stellar Info will not let you recover the files to the drive G if you choose it here. So I'm going to choose another drive. I simply clicked on browse. So this is the drive where I want to recover it. And here I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it recovered. And then I'm going to choose it and select folder and save. And now the data was saved there. So here you can click on view data. This is a hyperlink that will take you directly to the folder. So here it is. 
and notice that the file is retrieved and it is working completely so now of course you can move it back to where it was deleted from so now let me show you how to retrieve a folder i'm gonna simulate the deletion of the docs folder and i'm gonna start stellar info and in stellar info i'm gonna simply click on next first and then i'm gonna show you a new option here you have something called common location i'm gonna scroll here and i'm gonna choose choose location so this way i'm gonna limit the scanning to a certain folder and this saves time so let's go here it is under the g drive i'm gonna select the my data folder and the docs folder was here before i deleted it and then i'm gonna click on select folder and then i'm gonna click on scan so notice here that it didn't find anything because when you delete a folder you need to make a deep scan so i'm gonna click ok here and then i'm gonna click next to deep scan on click here and give it a little bit of time to go and scan the whole drive this might take some time depending on the speed of the drive and on the speed of your pc so now the scan has completed let's click on ok and let's click on the deleted list and here let's go under my data and see that we found the docs folder so i'm gonna deselect everything and only select the docs folder and all the files are here so let's click on recover and i'm gonna select always a drive that is different than the g drive which is this one and i'm gonna create a new folder called recovered docs and i'm gonna select it and select folder and let's save it and let's view the data and we're gonna see that all the files were recovered without any corruption and this is the file opening and all of them open without any problem so now let's spice things a little bit more and i'm gonna show you how to recover data from the recycle bin even after you empty it so here i have these media files under the g drive under photos and videos so let me select them and then on my keyboard i'm gonna press delete simply and they are now in the recycle bin so let me show you the recycle bin and here they are and now i'm gonna empty the recycle bin so let's start stellar data recovery i wanted also to give you a tip if you notice that you deleted something from a drive and you want to recover it stop using the drive directly because otherwise you're gonna reduce your chances of successfully retrieving these deleted data so now for what to recover i'm gonna keep everything selected I'm gonna click on next and we're gonna recover from drive g and let's click on scan and this is the scanning finished so let's click on ok and let's click on deleted list and let's look under recycle bin so this is here recycle bin and when you empty the recycle bin the names of the files that you deleted will change so here i'm gonna check for the size and the extension of the files so here are some files that might be the files that i deleted and notice also that you can search for files by their extension in case you cannot find them or you have many files so let me see the preview of these files so yeah these are the files we just deleted so it's good i'm gonna restore them all so let's deselect everything and i'm gonna select only these three files here and let's click on recover and let's go to the folder where I'm recovering files. So here I created a folder called recovered one and let's click on save and let's view the data now. And this is the data. And these are all the files that were recovered. Now I'm gonna take it also a notch further and I'm gonna show you how to retrieve data that you erased from an encrypted drive with BitLocker. So this is my encrypted drive here. I'm gonna open it and I have some secret data in it and there are some documentation here so let me delete these here so I'm gonna delete them like any user does so just delete they will go to the recycle bin and then right click and empty the recycle bin and let's now try to retrieve them so let's open stellar data recovery and let's click on next and here we're gonna search for the drive that is encrypted and you can recognize it by this lock here so i'm gonna select it and then i'm gonna click on scan and notice here that it is prompting us for the bitlocker password so i'm gonna put the password for the bitlocker encryption here so let's click on ok and from here on now it is the same as retrieving files from the recycle bin as we did earlier so i'm gonna click on ok deleted list recycle bin let's search and here we deleted some docs and we deleted some also xlsx 
and notice that we find many many things and notice the size and the size is a very important factor in knowing what file can be retrieved and if they are in a good shape so here i'm going to retrieve the files that are not zero in size so i'm going to select all of these and then let's click on recover and i'm going to do the same as i did for the other recovery steps that i showed you and let's click on save and let's view the data so this is the recycle bin and these are the files and of course because they were from the recycle bin we cannot know their names so let me open one of the files to see so everything is opening and they are working and even if the file's name changed this is a small price to pay for the ability to retrieve your data now these were some of the scenarios where stellar data recovery can be used but it also covers other scenarios like you can retrieve files from formatted drives and also you can retrieve files from sd cards that are in cameras if i want to cover all the scenarios this video will be very long now i told you in the beginning that i'm gonna give you my honest opinion on this software and i can honestly say that this software does what it's supposed to do and it can successfully recover deleted files one thing that i wanted this software to be better at is that when you scan your drive for deleted files it would have been better if stellar data recovery will open directly the deleted list file instead of opening the classic list now what you should also know that all consumer grade data recovery software not only stellar data recovery will have a hard time retrieving deleted data from ssd drives on windows because ssd drives on windows 99 percent of the time are trim enabled and the trim function will immediately wipe all the data whenever you delete it from an ssd drive now if you want to check out the stellar data recovery software i'm going to leave a discount coupon code in the description along with an affiliate link if you make a purchase using the affiliate link i'll gain a small percentage at no cost to you and this will support my channel and if you liked my video please share it subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up I would really appreciate it. I want to thank you all for watching. I'm Eloy from Knowledge Sharing Tech. See you in the next video.